Hi everyone, thanks for checking out the channel. Here I present to you a powerful portable lead acid battery desulfating equalizing system that will regenerate and renew your spent batteries within a few hours to a day, depending on the size of the battery, even large bus batteries and truck batteries. Okay, system does both 6 volt and 12 volt as well. Great, so what do we have here? We have the unit the battery a voltmeter looking at the power supply that's a 36 volt power supply 36 volts 8.8 .8 amps and an ammeter setting on this meter which is not showing anything yet because we haven't gotten going so this is the battery over here it's a 52 amp hour battery a couple of years old still in decent shape so it's good for this demo anyway okay so how does this work quite simple this little voltmeter here is going to directly tell you what's going on on the battery. So uh, what we do is power up. Now nothing happened yet because the voltmeter is fed by the battery including its, its power. That's a little indicator showing you it's on. This little fan noise just got going there. It's a cooling system. And you can see it it's consuming about 145 milliamps voltage is fine okay so the next thing is uh, the connection to the battery now over here we have a temperature sensor that's uh, taped onto the side of the battery that's going to be important because the system monitors that and makes sure the battery doesn't overheat so you can uh, do this unattended and typical copper crocodile clips fed by double cables to handle the current flow okay so I'm going to connect this reverse polarity at the first time so you can see that it's safe to do that but there's an outcome powerful lamp lights that lamp is consuming about two amps and um, while it's an indicator that you've uh, reverse connected the battery this is also useful sometimes if you want to do a little discharge on a battery um, to exercise it before you do the regeneration or, or, or the desulfation so that will work fine for that as well but make sure that the unit is on so the fan is cooling and, and taking the heat out from that, that, that incandescent lamp okay so let's uh, connect it properly before we start the desulfation positive to positive make sure you have a good grip there and a clean terminal and negative and now we see well the battery is 13 volts it's a decent shape um, I discharged a little bit of, of power from it uh, a while ago so we can put some current in and see what, how it works quite simply all you need to do is adjust this knob now and it's I, I put a little calibration there 1 amp 2 amp 3 amp and so on I'm gonna aim for about 5 that lamp is lighting and I'll explain it in a bit so we're aiming for about 5 because that's about one tenth the rating on the battery there and you can see you know the pointer is pointing at five okay that lamp lights because of that acoustic whine you're hearing that's the resonance effect that's actually physically breaking down those crystals as well as the electricity that is reversing the formation of those crystals back into electrolyte and battery acid if you come over here you can see or here really the sound is coming from the battery it's the battery making that sound so that acoustic vibration is inside the battery breaking down those crystals for you no other desulfator you buy on Amazon does this kind of thing this is the real thing people properly tested I've done hundreds of batteries already okay so you can see the battery voltage there at 14.7 what's next all you do is you wait this might take a few hours depending on the size of the battery a battery of this size might take about four four to six hours um the battery voltage will go up to around 15.7 or 15.8 volts before the system will automatically throttle down the current so it will never overcharge your battery that level of 15.7 or 15.8 is called the equalization voltage for lead acid 12 volt batteries 
okay and i'll show you a little bit about the six volt battery and how that works for that too because that six volt battery is fully charged and will hit maximum voltage really quickly okay so that's it job is basically done you just wait now all right so i'm going to turn this down disconnect this from the battery got a little warm because we're dealing with decent power safe power but good energy in there and i'm going to switch this toggle from the 12 volt setting to six okay that all that does is make sure the system doesn't over voltage the battery due to the high currents and current limits now similarly with six volts you can you can also connect it backwards if you want to discharge a little bit and the, the bulb will show you as well if the battery is totally flat of course it won't show you so you need to pay attention for the polarity okay let's connect it properly now i'll show you this the spec on this little battery now let me get it focused for you there okay i won't move the temperature sensor because this is just a one minute demo here so that's connected and what do we see we see 6.3 volts so great same same procedure turn up the power but this time you'll notice it, it runs up to the full equalization voltage right away although i turn up a lot of power it's not pushing a lot of power and it's decreasing because it's throttling that current to make sure that we do not over voltage the battery okay and you'll notice the lamp is not lit because a lot of power is not being moved right now the kickback resonance isn't very powerful but this is a small battery so that's fine so we can desulfate just like this even with that set like that just leave it it will not overcharge the battery it will not overheat the battery and give it a couple of hours and the job is done and you can test the battery out afterwards so there you go that's the whole thing folks uh, just briefly baking soda if you have a spill of any electrolyte to neutralize it before you mop it up and I'll be uh, once more putting the, the potential link for the do-it-yourself capability and perhaps a kit if there's demand. Thanks for watching. Take care now.